Hell's Kitchen is actually a multicam show. They actually, when they do, you folks get Hell's Kitchen or the, yeah, okay, or the equivalent. So they actually shoot with up to 10 cameras live, and that's what we've got here. So we've got, sitting in my bin here, I've got, you know, different cameras for the different teams. So I've got the blue camera for the blue team. I've got red cameras. And this is kind of neat, too, because I color-coded these. So the shades of blue, okay, represent the blue cameras. The shades of red represent my red cameras. And anything green represents the dining room service. And then I've got an orange clip here, which is, I don't remember why I made it orange. Oh, it's a shade of red, so it's, it's red, okay? So I can color code my clip so I can know what's going on, okay? Now I'm gonna select these shots, and I wanna do multi-camera editing. This is something Avid has done for many, many years. So I just select my shots, I go into my bin, and I say group clips. In this case, these are all jam synced with common time code, so I can just choose source time code. If I didn't have common time code, I could use an endpoint and out point. If I have auxiliary time code, I can use that as well. Okay, but in this case, I'm just going to say source time code. And it gives me a new element here. Okay, let me create a new sequence here in my cuts. So let's just cut this into my timeline. And we're actually going to go into multicam mode. And what we can do now is as I move through my timeline, all my cameras update. If I hit play. Hello, Boris. Two yes. minutes, three minutes, Chef. Sure, that's it. All my cameras are playing in sync. And I can either use my cursor or my keyboard and click on the, I'm sorry, my, my mouse and click on the individual cameras. Or I can hit play and use. Yes, sir. I'm with you. Don't get that fucking tomato sauce too wet. I know, I'm reducing yeah, don't, it. Now. Don't get it too wet. You make your life too fucking hard. Let's go. Yes, How long for that? Two minutes. Scallops are ready again. Guns for the scallops. Okay. So all I was doing was just hitting my keyboard and I was hitting the different cameras that are mapped to my keyboard and I've made my edits already. Okay. Now, I didn't do very well, but let's Three play minutes, this. Sure, that's it, let's yes, go. Sir, I'm with you. Tight. Don't right, get that fucking go. tomato sauce too wet. I know, I'm reducing yeah, don't, it. Now. Don't get it too wet. You make your life too fucking. So obviously, of course, with my trimming tools, I can adjust these. Okay, but the other thing that's nice is let's say we're over here somewhere. Let's play this guy. So I've got these shots in the wrong order. If I play this. No, let's go. How long for that? Two minutes. So he's asking how long for that. The guy says two minutes. I'm on the wrong shot here. So I should really be, you know, right here I want to be his answer saying two minutes. Well, just using my arrow keys here, I'm changing my different cameras. So I'm just rolling through my different cameras and bang. So I just swapped out that camera at that shot. Now back up here and we'll swap to him asking where it is, okay? So that's multi-camera editing. Now, this is also neat. Um, this also gives me a chance to show another, another neat feature in here is um, something called Phrase Find. In Media Composer 5, we added a whole new search engine. So I can come in here and say find, and I now have the ability to look for clips or sequences, not just within an individual bin, but across the entire project. Okay. I can also find within a script. So Media Composer has a functionality called script editing. So I can bring in a script and actually line the script where I can actually listen to the dialogue and say, okay, fine, this is where the actors say this in the script, and I can link those two. So I can find things within a script. I can find things within a timeline or monitors. Okay, so I can search for clip names, clip information, time code, all that across an entire project. Okay, that's great if I'm good and I label my things and I, I put data in. But if I don't, I, I'm kind of, you know, don't have a choice. So we have another thing called phrase find. Someone type the word scallops in here. Okay. And First, let's just see if I have scallops anywhere. So if I just say find, okay, no results found. I didn't label a single clip scallops, okay? But if I come over here and say phrase find, it is going through a phonetic index of all my footage, and it just went through and found every single occurrence of the word scallops. And I just double click on one of these. Scallops, yeah, I got scallops. And it brings me right to where he says scallops. Scallops are ready again. Scallops. Scallops, I promise. Scallops, drop. Scallops. That'd be sad. 
Okay, so every single word. And we have tried this with Latin American Spanish, and it works flawlessly. So this is North American English. We've got language packs for you know, several different languages, but it works very, very well for finding footage that you haven't bothered to tag.